Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2010 Land Rover Discovery 4. It's a 3 litre turbo diesel and it's an HSE. So HSE basically means it's the top of the range. It's black in colour with beige leather interior and I guess what makes this car quite special is the fact that it's got about ten to $15,000 worth of extras. This car's set up to drive around Australia, take off road, basically whatever you like. It's even got electric brakes for a caravan or large trailer. It's only done 81,000 kilometres since 2010, which is pretty unique. Normally a car set up like this spends most of its time driving up and down the freeway. And as a result, it's got one, two, three, four hundred thousand kilometres. What's special about this car is the fact that it's low kilometres and it's fully kitted up to go off-road. So for a lot of people, when they buy, want to buy a Discovery to set up for off-road use, or as I said, to drive around Australia, they usually have to buy a car which is totally standard to find one with low kilometres then they will go and spend fifteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars whatever it is setting it up the good thing about this car is we have a low kilometre car which is set up already it's got cooper tyres it's got beautiful beige interior but it also has black carpets and things so you know if you were going off road you jump in and out of the car into dirt you do have the black mats. You can even buy rubber mats from Land Rover. It's got a dash mat, but there's no cracks under the dash. It's just a precaution to keep it protected. It's got a C, CB radio. Um, the HSC came with memory electric driver's seat. Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, it's got reverse camera, navigation, off-road navigation, rear air conditioning the terrain response system, the click of a button, you can raise the car by about a foot. This is all standard with a Discovery. That's obviously an extra. It's got dual range fuel tanks. There's the electric brake controller. It's got a Safari snorkel, Rhino roof rack. And for a car that's been set up for off-road use, it's in particularly good condition. Normally you'll find they'll have dents, scrapes, scratches from going down trails, narrow trails with trees and branches on either side and the back seat doesn't look like it's been used very much the roof lining's in excellent condition it's got the Kmart bull bar And Kmart 4x4 accessories are obviously very good quality. All the lights and everything are set up. You know, if you want to get into the back of the car, it's got this one. And it's got a shock absorber there as well. So they put everything in the back. So I'd say you'd have the original Land Rover mirrors in here. This is really clever for storage. Again, this does come, can come straight out of the car. It's got the rear luggage carrier, and it is actually a seven-seater. So if you wanted to convert it back, you could. Um, I think I mentioned the dual-range fuel tanks. I mean, even with the fuel tank these come with, you can get a, you can probably get nearly a thousand Ks on the freeway. But with dual tanks, you can just keep driving. Too. That looks like a new Cooper tyre on the back there. Ah, uh, it's got tinted windows. It's got what look like side steps, but more than anything, probably to protect the bottom of the car. I don't think it's going to last very long. It's pretty hard to find a car which has had this much money spent on it. And the good thing is that, despite the fact someone spent all this money. When you're buying it second hand, you're not sort of paying a $15,000 premium for the privilege. 
a very good service history. Um, it's got the mirrors designed for having a caravan, which are a lot larger, obviously. CB radio, aerial, extra driving lights, intensity driving lights, a worn winch, which again is a very good quality one. What I find with a lot of these cars is some people buy them, they fully set them up to go off-road and or drive around Australia and it just sort of never happens. Or if it does, it only happens a couple of times. It depends on the car. I remember when I was a kid, my parents bought a, brand, a Sahara brand new, which was set up to drive around Australia with everything, and it literally never happened. But this is certainly a very impressive car. And everything's been done well. You know, you can find cars which may have been set up for off-road and they've just put cheap, cheap parts on it, winch, etc. These are all stainless steel and quality. Um, the suspension's up at the moment. Obviously, you've got three settings, high, normal and low, or entry level. And I think what also makes it special is that it's the top of the range with all the off-road gear. Normally, I find when someone wants to set up one of these for off-road, they they buy the absolute base model because I don't care about having leather and luxuries and things. So the good thing about that is if you are, <clears throat> you know, going on long trips, you've still got the luxury of the HSE. But certainly a very impressive car. We are very happy with it. Um, I don't think it's going to last very long at this price. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to ask. Or if you, if you want to have a closer inspection of the car, come in have a look you can look at all the parts and accessories thanks for taking the time to watch this video we are the old timer center we specialize in european cars land rover and range rovers like this one as well and we look forward to hearing from you located conveniently 15 to 20 minutes from sydney airport